YouTube gang, this is your girl Mia with Mia's Mob. I'm talking to you. This is Mia Mob, Mia's Mob, and today we're going to do some spaghetti. I told you guys earlier what we were doing, so let's get started. Now, here's my ground beef, and you can use ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey, or you can do it with no meat. The choice is yours. Now, I have onions, bell peppers at the bottom, and I got a little more onions at the bottom. Now, you can do it any way you want to do it and I just got my seasoning garlic powder a little seasoning salt you can put a little oregano if you want because it's gonna be spaghetti put what you want it's yours make it your own you don't have to follow nobody else shit make it your own so we're gonna do this so I'm gonna turn it on get it going okay now I told y'all salad earlier we was gonna do salad now I got my water here boiling right here to the right Got my water bottle. I'm going to add a little olive oil. We're going to bring that to a ball. I told you earlier that we was going to do salad. Well, we're not going to do salad. So what Mia decided to do, I saw in Aldi, you go to Aldi, and these are Brussels sprouts. And I just added mushroom and butter and seasoning. And I'm going to just grill them on top of the stove, honey. Simple, simple process. All I did was take, took the um, Brussels sprouts, cut them in half, and seasoned them. And now I'm going to do them on top, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to turn it real low when I start, though, because I don't want them to stick, okay? Brussels sprouts. Can you see that, people? Cut in half with mushrooms. You can add onions. You can add carrots. You can do it your way. Have it your way. Just like Mac. Uh, no, not McDonald's. Burger King. Have it your way. Except for this is better. It's at home. That's all we doing. So, I'm going to turn that down low. I wasn't going to do it right now, but I think I will since I got so many inside of there. Because that's going to be my lunch for tomorrow, too. Got my water boiling for my spaghetti. Not spaghetti. Spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? Me always got to do shit her way. And then the Brussels sprouts are going to keep you regular. Are going to keep you regular. You won't be all clogged up with that pasta. So, again, got my spaghetti. We're just going to wait on that. Then all I'm going to do is just show you how we do it. I got my ground beef going. And then I'm going to add a little virgin olive oil. I'll show you. This is what I'm going to add to my pasta to keep it from sticking. Okay? That's it. So I'm going to pause the video. We about to get this thing popping. Okay? I told y'all garlic bread. Girl, I left the stove and forgot it. And I could make my own, but I'm not. You don't need no bread. You got pasta. That's enough. Okay? So I'm going to pause it. So y'all just bear with me. We're going to get this going. Got to let that beef start going. Got to let these Brussels sprouts start going. I already got that water boiling for the pasta. Forget it. Not spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? We from the country. Forget it. Now, don't start talking no shit. And don't send for me unless I send for you. Now, I'm going to pause this thing. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it started. Hope everybody's having a great day. Okay, gang. We're back, as you can see. Ground beef is cooking. Brussels sprouts are cooking on low. Now I'm about to take my boiling water and add my spaghetti. I get thin spaghetti. So all I'm going to do is a little salt in there and a little olive oil in the water while it's boiling. So all I do is take it. This is what Mia does. You can do it your way. Just the average size. I don't like it long like that. I break mine in half. Over the pot, drop it in. Get the rest. Huh? Over the pot, break it in half, drop it in. But I got a few more. Hold on. So, last little bit over the pot. I drop them in. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna let them boil. Once they start boiling, I used to take some tongs and just make sure you can take a spoon or wooden spoon or whatever. I just don't want to make sure they're sticking. So I know they're not sticking. I just dropped them. So that's common sense. But once they start boiling, I'm going to break them up because I don't like them clumped together either. Now, I was looking for my stainless steel strain. I couldn't find it. Wonder has that walked also, people. I had to start patting people asses down around here. Now, when we do our 
sauce, I'm going to add one can of diced tomatoes. I've already strained the juice off. And I'm going to add, now this is a one pound, 28 ounce can. One pound and 28 ounces. I'm sorry. So, well, it's not even that. It's one pound. That's what it is. I'm sorry. And this is just a little, I think it's an eight ounce. 15 ounce. All wrong. Tomato sauce. But I got these cans at, uh, I didn't get these at Aldi. I bought these at uh, BJ's Wholesale. Come in like a little case. Okay. So all I do is keep my ground beef mashed up. And we want it all done. We don't want nothing red. And the seasonings are inside. You put whatever seasonings you like. Now me, I added seasoning and salt. Just a small little bit. Garlic powder. Bell pepper, onions I cut up real small. A little oregano. Some people add onion powder. You add whatever you like. And all I'm going to do, once that finished cooking, I'm going to drain some of the fat off of that. And then I'm going to add the diced tomatoes, the tomato sauce. And I'm also going to add a little sugar. Why? Because tomato sauce and tomatoes are what? Bitter, honey. We want it just a tad bit sweet. If you don't have any sugar, you know, you know, because, we, you know, sometimes we ain't never got two things that match. So, you know, if you ain't got no sugar, you can use a little ketchup. Does the same thing. Ketchup got sugar in it. See how that works? Same thing. As long as you got the tomato sauce and the diced tomatoes, you're fine. Now, those of you who use the Prego, Prego, or whatever that is, Prego, y'all can use that too. I don't use that. I don't like it. I don't like it. It doesn't taste right to me. And that's just me. I'm not saying you're wrong if you use it. Some people use spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce. Do it your way. Make it your own. I'm just showing you the way Mia does it in her household. All right? So we're going to pause this video. We're going to finish letting everything cook. Brussels sprouts. Got them on low. They're doing what they do. Got a little oil, mushrooms, uh -oh, and a little seasoning. That's it. Got to clean my stove. Now, y'all know I like to keep the stove clean. So, that's it. Going to pause this video. Okay, guys, we're back. So, we're about to finish up our spaghetti sauce. So, here we go. Going to add the diced tomatoes. And the pan is still on because why? It's still cooking. Just going to stir it around. I drained some of the fat off. Not all the fat. I left a little fat on there, but I drained the majority of it off. So you just stir it around. Stir it around. Now, as you can see, my noodles are done. I don't want them overcooked. They're in the strainer. Here they are. Got a little parsley on them and a little olive oil. That's it. They're here. Already done. You don't want them all clump, and you don't want them overcooked. You don't want them mushy. You want them just like that. You see that? Just like that. You want them mushy. Overcooked. Overcooked? Oh, God. Messes up the meal. Tomato sauce. I'm just going to add tomato sauce. I don't need but one can because I'm not cooking that much spaghetti. Just enough for three people and enough for... Lunch for me tomorrow. Now, I told you to add a little sugar. I think I'm going to add, since I ain't got that much, I ain't going to add the sugar. I'm going to add the ketchup. Okay? Like I told you, it's shortcuts to everything. So, you can just use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy nothing all crazy. Use what you have. So, I'm going to pause it because we're letting the Brussels sprouts cook. And we're about to be done. You don't have to take all day in the kitchen. Hell, y'all ain't cooking no damn way. So, shit. That means let's stop pretending, people. Let's stop pretending. I'm giving you some shortcuts here. A quick meal where you don't have to go out to the uh, fast food place and spend $30 on what? Nothing. Nothing. You're wasting your damn money. Just do it at home. I'm going to pause it. Okay, gang, we're all done and everything is done. So I'm going to fix a plate and show you what your presentation should look like. It's just basic spaghetti. Spaghetti, meat sauce, Brussels sprouts. That's it. Nothing hard. Fast.
famous plate. Y'all know this plate. And I do have more than one plate, but famous plate. <laughs> Told y'all a long time ago, you like this plate. I don't know why. I think it's the damn colors. Green is his favorite color. Okay. Get the other spoon with some, so I can get the sauce right on the top. The way I want it, people. Off. So here we go. Spaghetti sauce. Sit. And all I did was tomato sauce. Diced tomatoes. Let me rinse this off. Diced tomatoes. Look, ketchup. That's it. Seasoning. That's it. Brussels sprouts and mushrooms. Y'all know we love mushrooms here. They, some of them could be a little caramelized. That's fine. That's fine. So there you have it. Okay. That's it. Spaghetti, Brussels sprouts. You need no bread. Pasta is the bread. That's the problem with us now. Too much bread. Hallelujah. Y'all have a good night. Mia's out. Spaghetti and Brussels sprouts with mushrooms. Have a good evening.